Good morning, everyone. My name is Rich Meyer, and I have the distinct pleasure and honor of introducing you to the world's foremost authority on tax lien certificates and tax deed default investing. His name is Ted Thomas, and that's him. Beyond being the greatest person in the world when it comes to tax deed uh, defaults and tax lien certificates, he probably has the world's greatest collection of shirts. He's wearing a Picasso <laughs> right there. <laughs> well, I got the greatest collection of shirts, but don't build me up too much because they're going to expect a lot. And this is all you get. <laughs> this is it. All right. So, Ted, we're going to do a short interview with you. I have uh, some prepared questions I'd like to ask you. Sure. I'm going to start by asking this question. Sure. Uh, you're in an unusual business that most people don't even know about. And a lot of people listening to this interview today may not even believe the type of returns that are available and that if wow. your students and investors can generate with this business. Can you tell our audience a little bit about this business? Okay, happy to. Okay, well, welcome aboard, everyone. I'm Ted Thomas, and for the last 30 years, I've been involved in tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property. And for the last 25 years, I've been teaching it. So um, let me tell you what a tax certificate is. First, we'll start with the legislature of your state. So we have 50 states, 50 different legislatures. They all say the same thing. If you own property, you have to pay property tax. Well, you and I never talk to the legislature, but we sure talk to our local county. So they send a notice down to the county and they say to the county, look, everybody has to pay property tax. All right, so the supervisors or the county commissioners will designate the treasurer has to, has to go out and make sure that the, they collect the taxes. So number one, everybody has to pay a tax. So the treasurer will levy a tax and they'll collect, try to collect the tax and if they can't collect it, wow, what they will do. In half of the states, they will issue a tax certificate, which is just a piece of paper like I'm holding in my hand. Or in a place like California or New York, they will send a notice out of default and they will not only seize the property, they will confiscate the property. All right, now why does the government do that? Simple, simple process. The money that comes in from property taxes is what pays the county employees also pays the police department and the sheriff, also pays for the school teachers. So you're kind of getting the idea. So the tax certificates and tax lien business has been around for 200 years. I'm really a newcomer in 30 years of a newcomer. This is a place you can make money. And what's going to happen today is you're going to get a real thorough education on that. Thank you, Ted. Can you tell us a little bit about tax defaulted property uh, versus tax lien certificates? Okay. All right, well, that's a perfect thing for us to do right now because uh, you're speaking from a tax deed state. Now, in a tax deed state like California, the property can go into default if people don't pay the tax. Now, if the property goes into default, the treasurer has been given an authority, an authorization to, number one, levy the tax and then try to collect it. If they can't collect it, they are authorized to basically seize, in other words, take the property away from you and actually go over there and kind of boot you out, can you imagine? They can boot you out of that property. Then what the treasurer will do with the property is it will put it up for tax auction. So across the United States, we have a little more than 3,000 counties. All 3,000 counties are allowed to exercise a property tax defaulted auction. And when they auction those properties, they're gonna auction them off but basically pennies on the dollar. Now what's pennies on the dollar? It's basically the back taxes because that's all they want. All right, now that's kind of a capitalized form of a tax defaulted state. So think about New York, think about California. There's two real big and powerful tax defaulted states. Now I live in Florida. They're very benevolent in Florida. What does that mean? Well, that means they're just gonna issue a certificate, a piece of paper that says tax certificate on it. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna say, if you don't pay your tax, we're going to issue a tax certificate. Oh, uh, why would they do that? Well, they issue a tax certificate so anybody that's in the public, so you could be in North Dakota, you could be in Texas, you could be in California, and you could actually buy a tax certificate on my house if I didn't pay the tax. All right, now that's a certificate, it's a piece of paper, and it pays all the way up to 18% interest. So let's make sure I've been clear. It means that if someone buys a certificate on my house, they now own the taxes on my house. When I come in to pay, which 97, 98% of the people always pay, when they go in to pay, they not only have to pay every dime, of, uh, I, I go in to pay, I have to pay all the taxes, and I'm gonna have to pay an 18% penalty. 
In other words, the person that bought the certificate is going to receive an 18% penalty on the money. So that's a nice deal. You took money and put it in the bank, they're paying about 1%. The local county could pay up to 18% in Florida. Now, other states will actually pay higher than that, but let's not confuse the issue. So a quick review. We have tax defaulted states. That's about half of them. And then we have tax deed states. Tax deed states are very benevolent. They don't push the people out. They leave the people on the property. So you can stay in the property the whole time. Uh, they would. Well, when it comes time to pay, if you don't pay after a couple of years' time, then the county will come along and they'll push you out, and the person that has the certificate will get the property. So that's how it works. So two different ways to make money and two different um, two different authorities on how to do it. One authority is very strong in that they'll kick you out of the property. The other property is more benevolent. They'll let you stay there a couple of years, give you time to recover from that sickness, or maybe you had COVID, or Maybe you had a car accident, or maybe your son had to go to the hospital, and you didn't pay you the tax. So the people that paid, paid t on tax lien certificates, it's a very conservative investment, very conservative. Thank you. And if I'm understanding it correctly, different states offer different redemption periods, the amount of time somebody can redeem or pay that tax lien certificate. And they also have different interest rates. They're always pretty high, but different states have different rates of return that the person who purchased that tax lien certificate could earn on that certificate, correct? You're, you're right, right on track. Uh, actually, what happens is all the states came into the United States at a different time. So we started out with the colonies in the east, and then as they moved towards the west, states came into, into being states at different times, so they have different rules. So the different rules are this. For example, in Arizona, if you bought a tax certificate, it would pay up to 16%. If you bought a certificate in Iowa, it could pay up to 24%. Here in Florida, it's 18%. So about half of the states sell tax lien certificates. The other half of the states will confiscate the property. So that's the difference. Great. Now with COVID, we've all been through this pandemic, more people than ever are wanting or needing to work from home. Is this something that can be done online or does somebody have to work, you know, go to a, a public auction at a physical location? Okay, well, the answer is both. Um, everything that we do in the business today can be done sitting on your rusty dusty, playing with the computer that's right in front of where you're watching me. You can do it all online and we teach classes to do. Uh, however, when I started, everything was physical. So I'm in Florida, if I wanted to decide to buy in Iowa, I had to fly to Iowa and then go to the auction. Uh, they still have live auctions, so local people can go, but they opened it up, the internet opened it up to the whole world. Now, here's the challenge. Every county and every state has their own rules. Now, let me say that again. Every county and every state has their own rules. So there's over 3,000 counties in the United States, and of course, you already know there's 50 states. So you need to learn what's going on in each county, and some will have redemption periods, some won't have it, and so we'll teach you some a lot of that in the next four videos. Thank you, Ted. Now, I know personally a lot of people that have made a lot of money in this industry. Um, I used to be a mortgage broker, and even though I was in the mortgage business for 20 years, uh, and I'd heard of tax deeds and tax lien certificates, and I'd seen a lot of my customers fall behind on their property taxes, unfortunately. Um, I guess the question I have for you, there's a lot of money being made in this industry. Can my customers really uh, make twenty-five, thirty-five, fifty thousand dollars on one deal? Is that really a, a realistic expectation? Uh, it is absolutely realistic. It's it's uh, it's all in your head. Whatever you decide you want to make, you can make. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you examples of that. Uh, first of all, we're in the business of teaching people to make money. So our goal in teaching people how to do that, we want to teach you how to make twenty-five thousand or $50,000 on one deal, on just one deal. So now let me give you an example. So I'm gonna show you a couple on video here in a second. Well, let me pre preempt showing you the video because this couple bought a tax lien certificate. Now you remember, a tax lien certificate is a piece of paper. So they raised their hand at the auction and they bought a certificate. Now that certificate, they paid the taxes, a number of years taxes, they paid $11,000 and they ended up with a piece of paper. All right, now they thought they were doing this in Phoenix, Arizona, they thought they were going to make 16%. So at the end of the first year, they were hoping they got paid, but they didn't. So then it went into the second year, and they didn't get paid again. Well, the rules are this. If you own a tax lien certificate and you don't get paid, you get the property. 
but believe it or not, the judge went ahead and awarded them the property. Well, I always teach people, you never would, well, ladies who really appreciate this, ladies, you would never marry that guy without looking at him. I know that. So same thing in real estate. Don't buy a property, a tax lien or a tax lien, unless you looked at it, because a lot of things could be wrong. So they drove out before they bought it. They found out it was a condominium on a water, on the water in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, of course, you know that had to be a man-built, man-made lake. It was on a man-made lake, and there was a condominium. All right, the condominium was worth about $180,000. They have put up $11,000. So what's their risk? They're either going to get paid at the rate of 16%, or they're going to get the property. Only two things can happen. You're either going to get paid, or you're going to get the property. Now, I didn't make these rules. These rules have been in effect for 200 years. All right, so now, the judge then said, you didn't get paid, signed the thing, and they now take over the property. Now, you are going to see this property, but let's listen to the couple, and I'm not going to tell you how much money they made, but just listen to this one-minute video. This is life-changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property, and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. For we were in 11. it total for 11000 Both of those. And we rented it's that like at twelve twenty-five for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. Phoenix that was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property, and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. All right, now you just saw it, folks. Those people are real people. What did they do? They ended up with almost $170,000 because they didn't get paid. That means for every dollar they invested, they get their dollar back plus another 17. All right, can I guarantee how much you're gonna make? No, but I can tell you this. I got in the business for one reason. I didn't realize after being in real estate 30 years that this was even going on. So when I discovered this, I could say, wait a minute, if I can buy a property for the back taxes and sell it for anything I want, Listen, I can figure that out. It would be pretty darn easy to find out what the market is. So if I can buy a property 10 to 20 cents, I can sell it for 50 cents and take home a check. So what if you found a $100,000 property, you can buy it for 20,000, but you sell it for 50. I mean, that's the business I'm in. And I've been, been, I've been doing it for 25 years. I don't look back. Man, when I found this business, you can't kick me out. So you're kind of getting the idea. So can people make money? Yes. I'm going to teach you to make twenty-five, fifty thousand dollars in a deal. Now, don't go buy something you're going to make a five thousand dollar profit. Just follow along what we teach you how to do, and you'll be able to do the same thing. I know that was a long answer, but I want you to see that video. Incredible. Yeah, like you, I've been in the business for a long time. Not the tax deed business, but as I said, a mortgage broker. And I wish I would have learned about tax deed investing and tax deed certificates. I'm now sixty. I wish I would have learned it when I was thirty. <laughs> wow, yeah, but better late, better late than never. Every, everybody else is buying property and waiting for it to slowly appreciate. Yeah, buying at retail. Slowly appreciate. Well, what do you end up with? Slowly appreciate. This is gray. This is uh, this is old. These are wrinkles. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you do. You get old. You might have more money. Why not just make it right now? So you can right. Make it right. You, you buy these properties now. They hand you a deed to the property. We'll talk about those deeds. To getting a deed to the property, do anything you want with it. Live in it if you want. Now yeah. I have probably a lot of people on this call 
that might be thinking, that sounds great, Ted. That sounds great, Rich. But I don't have a whole lot of money to invest in, in real estate right now or any money. Can can the little guy make money with this? Can the person get started with, let's say, as little as $500? Well, of course you could. You could start up buying a little strip of land if you wanted, or you could just buy a tax or you could buy either one. But let's be practical. Look, if you invest $500 and I put you in Iowa where they pay 24%, that means you're going to get, you're going to get your $500 back and plus another hundred bucks. I mean, so you're not going to make a hell, you're not going to get rich in this business doing that. But I can tell you that I've had clients which shocked me. All right. Shocked me. All right. So I'm teaching a guy from Alabama. Turns out he happens to be a newspaper editor. They run a newspaper and he does all the editing, make sure everything's correct and all that. And he called me, he said, Ted, I'm reading about these and I know you're the authority on this. Answer some questions. So I answered the question. Thanks a lot. And he called me back another week and he said, Ted, I'm finding some properties for pennies on the dollar. I said, that's the name of the game. Long story short, this guy calls me and said, I think I'm going to go to the auction tomorrow. I said, great. I said, what are you going to buy? He said, well, I found a two bedroom, one bass house. I said, what's it worth? I said, he said about 50,000. I said, well, great. He said, but I don't believe the deal. I said, what do you mean you don't believe it? He said, the starting bid is under $400. I said, what? He said, the starting bid. So sure enough, he went down to the auction. They called me back the next day. I said, well, did you get it? He said, no. I said, why did you get it? He said, I couldn't believe I could buy a property for under $400. I said, did they sell it? He said they didn't sell it. Nobody else believed him either. Wow. I said, go back. He bought a property for like $360 and they gave him the deed. All right. It's just a nice little house, a little two bedroom, one bath house. And, uh, and I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, it's going to auction. And so um, he heads down there to the auction and um, there's nobody else there. There's nobody else. It's two, two bedroom, one bath. Nobody else there. So he's afraid to bid. So he calls me up and says, there's nobody here. I said, well, great, just buy it. He bought a house for $316, $316. This is amazing. What? So he buys this house, he calls me back. He said, I got it. And I said, okay, good. What are you going to do with it? He said, oh, I don't know. I said, why don't you sell it? Now the house was probably worth 35 or 50 grand. It wasn't fancy, little house. And he said, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to own stuff. I said, okay, well then you're going to rent it. So the people in the neighborhood said, you should rent it for 700 bucks a month. He only paid 300, rented for 700. So this young guy came, he said, look, I'm going to school. My dad gave me enough money for rent for the whole year. I'll give you $6,000 if you'll let me have your house for the whole year, just renting it, not buying it. So he paid 316 and he rented it for 6,000 bucks for the year. It's a true story. The guy's 60 years old. He still doesn't believe it and gets a check every month. So that's the kind of stuff that can happen. Now, wait a minute. I never got one for three or $400. So don't, don't let me... Uh, lead you astray. I never did that, but there's other people out there doing that. So I don't want to lead you astray, but I'm going to tell you this year there's a hundred million, hundred million pro properties in the United States between two and 3% of them going to auction this year, between two and 3%. Find someone in your neighborhood that even knows there's such a thing as a tax auction. They don't even know it. You are now leading edge. Just watching these videos. Wow. One final question. And I uh, want to really say thank you because I know my audience is appreciating learning about this opportunity. One final question. Person purchases at auction a tax deed default. They get that property. What about the first mortgage or if there's a mortgage on there, the first mortgage or the second oh, mortgage? Yeah, yeah. What happens then? Well, that's a good question. Okay. Now, when a property comes up for auction, what the board of supervisors will do is they will give the treasurer power, okay, and authority to levy taxes, collect the taxes. If they can't collect the taxes, to confiscate the property, wipe out, cancel, delete the mortgage, and sell it for the back taxes. Now, why would they sell it for the back taxes? Why don't they go after retail? Folks, they don't want the property. The county doesn't want the property. So they're going to sell it. They're going to sell it for the starting bid will be the back taxes. The mortgage and the deed of trust loan are canceled and wiped out from the property. Wow. Kevin said, every sale, every single sale. So tell me how many you want. We've got over 2 million properties coming up this year, over 2 million, and get this. They're going to be sold at starting bid. I didn't say what the exact price was. Starting bid is back taxes, 
with no mortgage. How many do you want? That's a great question. As many as I can afford to win the bids on. Exactly. That's the answer. That's my answer. Start raising money. That's all I can tell you. Start. Ra- <laughs> it's more important to raise money than anything else. Why? Because right. there's going to be plenty for everybody. Plenty um, for everybody. And if you want to make 25 grand, they say, now, wait a minute, Ted. Why would you sell it so cheap? Doesn't matter. I just want to get my 25 grand, go back to the auction. See, the beauty of the auction is everybody, everybody won't go and bid. I'll go and bid. I'll tell you more about that on the next video. So let me kind of button it up, if you will. Folks, I do uh, events and teach people this. All right, so I'm going to do an event on the 26th day of February. Now, when I say an event, it's an all-day, one-day workshop. All-day, one-day workshop. It's not free. It's normally $97. You're going to be able to get in for $47. All right, so you're going to have to invest $47, and I'm going to give you an education. If you're learning a lot now, just imagine what you're going to get in six hours. Because I'll start at 11 in the morning, and I'll go until 5 in the afternoon. It'll be nonstop. You can sit there at your computer and eat. You go to the bathroom, you have to put your iPad down, go to the bathroom and come back. But you know what? You will get an education on tax liens and deeds like you never had. I've been teaching people this for 25 years. You want to be there and you want to get signed up. Thank you, Ted, so much. I know our audience truly appreciates what you just shared with all of us. And to all of you that are hearing Ted and hearing me, this is the real deal. Ted is the country's foremost authority on this topic, and you would be wise to take every bit of information he has available to share with you and use that information to make the kind of money most people can only dream of. Ted, thank you very much, and God bless you.